This is a brief demonstration of displaying and reading coordinates in ArcMap. Here I have an empty new ArcMap document and if you look in the right hand corner, bottom right hand corner of the window, you'll see that it's displaying what it says are unknown units. In other words, in terms of the coordinate system, it doesn't know what to use. So we don't have anything here about degrees or meters or anything like that. And if we look at the properties of the data frame, you'll notice that down here under current coordinate system, it says no coordinate system has been uh, determined at this point. If we add something to our map, let's add a map of Canada. Now you should be able to see that in the lower right corner, it will display, in this case, decimal degrees. So if you move your cursor around the screen, you should be able to have it tell you the lo longitude and latitude for that location. Now, if we go back to the properties of our data frame, now you'll see that it has automatically read the coordinate system from that data file. Whatever the first data file is that you add into a new map document, that's what the data frame coordinate system is set to. So in this case, we're just using a, uh, if you look at it, it says GCS WGS 1984. And what that means, if you remember, is that we're using a geographic coordinate system that's using the uh, ellipsoid uh, and the datum, that's WGS 1984. In this case, both the name of the datum and the, the ellipsoid are the same. And remember, in ArcGIS, they refer to it as the spheroid. It's the same thing as the ellipsoid. Okay, so that's our three-dimensional co geographic coordinate system. It's not, this data has not been projected yet. But even so, now we can go into the data frame. And if I select properties and go to the general tab, under units and display, I can change the units that are being used to display this. And even though the data is now projected, it can still tell me what uh, the correct longitude and latitude are for various locations. So for example, I can switch to degrees, minutes, and seconds, click OK. And when I uh, click move around the screen with my pointer, I'll now get my uh, coordinates given to me in degrees, minutes, and seconds in terms of longitude and latitude. So you can change those to whatever you want. It's not changing anything in the data file. You're not transforming anything. This is purely for display purposes if you want to be able to move the cursor to a particular location and be able to quickly see what the coordinates would be for that.